All right, climate science enthusiasts, let's dig into the U.S. and global state of the climate analysis for spring 2017 issued by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. This quarterly climate digest is brought to you by the Cooperative Institute for Meteorological Satellite Studies at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Direct observations of the Earth's land and ocean temperatures for March through May 2017 ranked this spring as the second warmest since we started taking the Earth's temperature back in 1880. This spring's average temperatures reached nearly 1.7 degrees Fahrenheit above normal, just behind 2016's record high spring temperatures. Some places in Asia got wickedly hot this spring, where temperatures soared to almost 5.5 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than normal. While here in the U.S., we experienced our 8th warmest and 11th wettest spring on record. Check out this real-time data set of spring sea surface temperatures measured by NOAA satellites in space. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures, whereas red indicates warmer than normal. Spring 2017 was the second warmest global ocean we've ever recorded, and only comes in behind spring 2016, when a strong El Nino forced warm water to pool at the surface of the eastern Pacific Ocean. As you know, spring marks the beginning of tornado season, and 2017 was no exception. More than a dozen tornadoes touched down across five different states on March 6th alone. Tornado outbreaks in early and late April across the central and southern U.S. resulted in at least eight people losing their lives. A record-breaking tornado touched down in Wisconsin on May 16th when a moderate-strength tornado stayed on the ground for 83 miles. That's over six times the length of the island of Manhattan. Remember, folks, to protect yourself from tornadoes and enjoy your summer better, Make sure your family has a severe weather safety plan in place, complete with an emergency kit with extra food and water. And that, my climate science enthusiasts, was your spring 2017 quarterly climate digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video and have a happy summer.